New tonight, Hampton police confirmed they've obtained a murder warrant for the suspect who shot and killed a man inside a wing stop. They still haven't released that suspect's name, just that they're working with the U.S. Marshals to now track that person down. And despite recent high profile shootings like that one, the police chief says violent crime is trending down. Miles Hood tells us more. Tonight's City Council meeting, Hampton Police Division Chief Jimmy Weidman presented year-to-year -year crime stats. The data presented looks at crime from the beginning of the year until various points in February across multiple years. As you can tell by the numbers, this time last year, we were substantially higher at this point in, this, in the year, as well as 2022. Violent crimes like murder, robbery, and aggravated assault saw an increase from 2022 to 2023, but so far this year, the data shows a drastic drop across the board. Chief Weidman says instituting a crime reduction team was key. Reduction detail that like we use saturation patrols, increased patrols in those areas that had the highest concentration of people. Property crimes like larceny, burglary, and car thefts reached a height in 2023, but have overall dropped more than 2% over the last two years. Weidman believes the most frequent property crime last year was ABC store thefts because ABC stores attributed to I want to see 60 percent of the larcenies that we were having and we were encountering. Weidman would not name any specific neighborhoods where crime may be high but did say patrols have increased around Coliseum Central where two killings have taken place. Yes we are. Uh, we've increased our p presence there. We have a business improvement district which is a collection of officers that are dedicated to the business community which includes the commercial areas for restaurants, hotels, and things of that sort. Weidman says Hampton is in the middle of the pack when it comes to safety compared to the other cities in the 757, but believes if the downward trend in overall crime continues, the city could become one of the safer cities in the area.